Welcome to Greek Orthodoxy 101. And today we've got a great question that a lot of people have been asking and even I asked it when I was a kid. Why do I have to stand so much in church? Well, if you notice, I'm sitting right now so I can't even stand for just this interview itself. So why is that that we stand? Well, one of the reasons is that for those of you that have gone to Greece or you've gone to Russia or you've gone to some kind of Orthodox land, you have noticed something that is missing in all of those churches that we have in all of our American churches, and that's the pew. The pew is a Protestant American innovation. And when we came to this country, we adopted that innovation. And as the Orthodox would say, we turned the liturgy into a theatrical performance. So what did we have in the original church? For those of you who are fortunate enough to go and visit the Hagia Sophia Church in Constantinople, and those of you that have not gone, you need to put that on your bucket list. That is one of the most beautiful churches you'll ever go to. What will come to the forefront when you walk into that church is the huge space that is there. And you can envision St. John Christum standing there and giving that divine liturgy. And you will look around and you will not see a single chair. Where this comes from is that unlike Protestantism and to some regards Catholicism, Orthodoxy is a very active faith. And when I say active, I mean physically active, meaning that when you go into the monasteries in Greece or Russia or those other countries, you will see that there is a lot of movement that is happening in the church. So what you'll see is somebody will come in and they'll walk over to an icon and they'll reverence that icon. Then they'll go and they'll get a candle, and then they'll put that candle in the chapel to memorialize a loved one. And then you'll see them walk over to another area. Now again, we're not saying that this is a time for, for smoking and joking and talking and having, having fun. These are all actions that happen in the context of the liturgy while the priest is performing or celebrating the liturgy. So this movement was very, very important to us you'll see some people like to do what we call prostrations. They'll bend at the waist or they'll, they'll be down on both knees or some, like in the Russian tradition, will be prostrate right onto the ground. And so people do this when that quote unquote spirit moves them. So what happened when we came here is that we wanted to blend in. We've got to remember this is now the early part of the 20th century and it was not a good thing to be ethnic. So we wanted to copy what it was that we saw around us. And what they saw in those Protestant churches was this idea of pews. And so we install those in our churches. And what it has done now is it has removed the ability for us to maintain the idea of an active worship service. So now with the pew, you can't do a prostration anymore. All you can do is bend at the waist. When you go and you light a candle, now people are going to be looking at you. Why are you lighting the candle in the middle of service? Because the Protestant idea is that you sit for that service. In the Orthodox service, we should be standing the entire time. There's even for the consecration. It is resurrection. Remember, every Sunday is a small resurrection. Mikri Anastasi. So every Sunday is that resurrection. And during Pascha, do we stand during the consecration? Absolutely. And so every Sunday we should stand. Where did the concept then of sitting come from? So in the 1970s, the archbishop at that time made an archdiocesan decree that in order to remember the fact that we should be doing liturgy every day, we will kneel on Sunday during the consecration to remember that act. That is the only reason why it is an exception to the rule. It is not the rule. And the way we remember standing all throughout the service is when we have Pascha and then the 50 days that follow that up until Pentecost and we have the kneeling prayers. We, we remain standing. We remember that idea that we as Orthodox Christians had a very mobile and active worship service. So that's that period that we recall that. 
So we should always be standing. And you'll notice in some of the Russian churches that are here in America, they do not have pews. And so they have retained that tradition. But in the Greek archdiocese here, in the Greek Orthodox archdiocese, we have kept that concept of the pew. So having said all that, what I would like to close with is the idea of somewhat recapturing who we are as active Orthodox Christians during a divine liturgy or another service. And so respectful motion is totally acceptable. If you feel during the service that you need to get up so that you can light a candle or you feel that you need to go to the back to make a certain special prayer, then that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. The only time that we should be motionless in church is the reading of the epistle when the priest is offering you the blessing sign, peace be with you, and the reading of the gospel. But other than that, you should feel free to recapture the essence of who we are. And if the spirit moves you that you want to light a candle, you need to go to the back to reverence a particular icon, then feel free then to, to do that but do it in the most respectable way that you can without then disturbing others who are also then spiritually and devotionally involved in the worship service. If you are going to be dancing with rattlesnakes, then you should do that only in the narthex so that we're close to the door but not within the sanctuary itself. Thank you.